clearly, I'm assuming it's a concern for young people. It's, it's definitely a concern because it really speaks to the South Africa that we're bound to inherit when we exit the schooling system too. Mm. So it's generally something that I've thought about a lot. And unemployment right now is not off of the basis of... So firstly, I do think that the education system itself has its own issues insofar as not a lot of people of colour, first and foremost, are, giving the, are given the opportunity to attend schools. Um, when they do get those opportunities, they don't go to universities because they're far too expensive. But I think the bigger problem that exists right now is the lack of an incentive for entrepreneurship in the country right now, which is a huge contributing factor to unemployment. And I think it's, it's very difficult to talk about one topic in isolation from a variety of different topics, because to view this realistically, the reason why there's a lack of incentive is because first and foremost, um, International trade is becoming a huge problem in the country insofar as the culture that we're buying into, all of the things that we're buying come from international brands who generally bring their own people down to move their stuff. So there isn't a lot of place on the market right now for South African people to build their own establishments, for people to gain employment. Um, so I think what would be a reasonable measure to take would be a government taking a more interventionist approach in the way our economy works insofar as slapping trade embargoes on international exports insofar as um, possibly incentivizing more entrepreneurship. I think it's not going to come with them creating jobs for state-owned companies. It has to come from people creating those opportunities for themselves. And if you're listening to this and you needed proof as to why he's one of the top 25 speakers in the world, you know that response, I suppose, will just justify uh, the fact that he's rated so highly. So uh, you're saying uh, in terms of a possible